everyone, so today I am here to do my January TBR. So I have basically the entire month of January off from school, which is great, but I am also working like 30-35 hours a week, so <clears throat> I don't know how much I'm actually going to get to read, uh, but I have a pretty big TBR to hopefully get through, but again, I'm going to be working a lot, so I probably won't be able to get to read that much, but whatever. So getting right on into the TBR, uh, the first book is a book that I already finished because I didn't get to film this video for a little bit, and that is Dragon Springs Road by Jenny Chang. Uh, definitely look out for my review, that will be coming out January 10th, which is the release date for this book, um, and I absolutely love this, I'll be talking about it in my review, but yeah, that was the first book that I read in January. The second book I hope to read in January, I hopefully am just going to pick it up and read it today, and that is Independent 24 by Zhang Yixing. I got this for Christmas, I immediately put it on my currently readings list on Goodreads, and I just haven't gotten around to actually reading through it. Um, it probably shouldn't take me more than an afternoon to fly through it, because it's mostly photos, um, and I'll be reading the English translation version. But um, this book, I'm just so excited to read this. The next book on this list is the one that I currently have my bookmark in. I haven't actually started it, but uh, 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. I got this uh, for my birthday, and I haven't gotten to pick it up yet because it's a monster, but I haven't read a Haruki Murakami book in the past three months, so this three-volume book should make up for that. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited to dive into this. Um, this is my second to last novel that I have of his, I only have Colorless Sukuru after this, so um, I'm really hoping I love this. And my agreement to myself is that that book is three volumes or three books along in that one volume, and I have three volumes of Sweet Tooth left. So for each volume I finish of 1Q84, I get to read a volume of Sweet Tooth, because I have three left and there's three in that, so I figured it'd be, it would make me really want to fly through this because I really want to get to these. So I still have number four, The Endangered Species, um, number five, uh, Unnatural Habitats, and number six, Wild Game. Um, I love this comic book series so much and I really, really want to finish it very, very soon, but that's going to have to encourage me to read through 1Q84 really, really soon. <laughs> This month I also really, really want to get to My Sister Rosa by Justine Larva last year. I got this for Christmas and it is one of the books that I just, I really, really want to read it um, this month um, because it just looks so good and I've been waiting so long to be able to read this because it wasn't out in the USA. Um, so I really would like to get to this. And I would also like to get to The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer simply because this is the heaviest book ever. Um, hardcover, like 500 something pages, and it's just a really big book and I kind of don't want to lug it all the way to school and back. So um, I hopefully will get to this this month, or if not, it's going to have to wait until spring break because I really don't want to put this in my, my suitcase. And the last thing on my TBR is reading Naruto volumes 11 through 18, which are the ones that I have here, so I can jump into the volumes that I left at school when I get back. But yes, that is my very, very ambitious TBR. I highly doubt I will get through all of those books. But um, yeah, that is my TBR for January. Ah yes, these are the books that I currently have to read through all the way, and then this one. I read that one, so yeah, anyways, um, tell me what you guys are planning on reading this month, and if you've read any of these novels, definitely tell me what you thought of them down below. And I love you all, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!